Okay, I planned this talk last year when this event was on Leap Day, but I didn't do it because I thought that's about time, not about space. This isn't the Center for Temporal Studies. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't quite justify it. By the time I justified it, it was too late to do it. So um, my justification is that, of course, that Einstein said space and time are equivalent. But just to be sure that this was appropriate, I checked the rules. And it turns out, yes, it falls right in the topic um, description under those red things. Um, so I decided I would tell you about some mathematical, I do math, about mathematical aspects of the calendar related to leap day. So some calendars are solar, some are lunar, some are lunar solar. And um, if they're pure lunar, they don't worry about leaps because it, the holidays just rotate through the seasons. But most of us, most um, calendars don't work that way. And so um, some of them add a day every once in a while, some of them add a month if they're um, keeping the months lunar. So like for example, the Hebrew one, oops, sorry about that. Ah, okay. Um, the Hebrew one does, adds a month seven years out of every 19. That might seem really weird until you realize that we have a leap year 97 out of every 400. Mm -hmm. So that's, we have a very long cycle. Um, you can look this up on Wikipedia. I'd rather tell you about a mathematician's trick that's related to the calendar, um, which is how to tell the day of the week for any date. And I decided to just limit it due to lack of time to this um, 20th century because I figured that would include all your birthdays. If I waited three years and did this next time on leap day, that might not be true. So in order to do this, we need to understand modular arithmetic, and in particular mod seven. So we have the numbers, um, no, I'm sorry, I haven't mastered this. Um, we have the numbers zero through six, and then seven is the same as zero, eight is the same as one. You just, it's just whatever the remainder is when you divide by seven. This is something you are very familiar with because we use it for clocks. So if it's 11 o'clock and you add two, it's one o'clock. So all we need to know is how many days it's been since the beginning of the century, mod seven. To do that, we calculate or we add the year because there's an extra day every year, 52 weeks plus one day in a year. And the year divided by four to account for leap day, and the month code because not all months begin on the same day of the week, and the day because every day adds another day. Okay, so for an example, no, no, before that, month code, I need to explain that. That's the hard part. You have to memorize 12 numbers. Um, I don't find that hard, but some people like to use verbal mnemonics. For example, you could um, associate a word, um, sorry, a word like, say, um, Fred, who's born in March, Fred's four letters, but you might not have any friends with zero letters because you might not know Prince, um, so, but that's zero is seven, so that's okay. Um, I wanted to give an example, but I guess I don't have time. You can just glance at it here. Um, and I wanted to give credit to Art Benjamin, and I don't know why I thought I would have time for this XKCD cartoon, but you can see it later. 